You're watching Get Cruise Ship Info and more. We'll be discussing 7 key topics in today's latest cruise news update for April 2, 2021. So stay tuned and enjoy the scenery while you get your daily dose of cruise news. But before we jump right into the video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video to stay updated with the latest news from the cruise industry and much more. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Carnival Corporation to provide first quarter 2021 business update. Carnival Corporation has scheduled a conference call with analysts for Wednesday, April 7, 2021, at 10 a.m. at 3 p.m. to provide a business update. A simulcast of the call will be available via the company's websites at www.carnivalcorp.com and www.carnivalplc.com. Norwegian Cruise Line require crew to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings Co. will require its crew aboard Norwegian, Oceania, and Regent ships to have a COVID-19 vaccine, according to a report by Cruise Center citing a letter sent to crew. Citing a recent survey sent to crew on vaccinations, and CLH said that in order to provide the safest cruise experience possible, it will require all officers and crew to be fully vaccinated with. And in CLH accepted COVID-19 vaccine in order to work on company ships once they return to sailing. And CLH said that it will accept the Pfizer Biomtech community. Moderna, Johnson & Johnson Janssen, and AstraZeneca vaccines. The company also appears to be readying to vaccinate crew on board if necessary. Noting in its letter that if an accepted vaccine is not available in a crew member's home country, that crew member must be willing to receive a vaccination on board. For crew that may have received a vaccination not accepted by NCLH, the company asked that they do not get re-vaccinated and said it anticipated more vaccines becoming approved. Cunard Line reports busiest booking day in a decade. The launch of Cunard's summer at Sea Luxury UK Voyages has driven the busiest booking day in the UK for a decade, the cruise line wrote in a press release. Cunard's summer at sea voyages on board the Queen Elizabeth, sailing between July and October 2021, comprise scenic cruises along the UK coastline. Voyages that include ports of call around Britain or those that simply sail to wherever the sun shines brightest, all are round trip from Southampton. This record-breaking day follows a phenomenal response to our centenary world voyages, onboard Queen the Mary II and the Queen Victoria in 2023, which went on sale a few weeks ago. Cunard President Simon Palethorpe said, We are delighted by this response from guests and particular thanks to all of our agent partners for their continued work, supporting guest bookings. We're really looking forward to welcoming guests back on board this summer. Guests are showing that their desire to travel with Cunard is stronger than ever as they seek a slice of luxury and exemplary service. Cunard's summer at sea voyages comprise 10 British Isles. Voyages and three sun voyages lasting between three and 12 nights. Guests will be able to enjoy fine dining, the onboard spa, and its entertainment while having the opportunity to see the Ux coastline. British Isles voyages include scenic sailings along Britain's coastline including the Jurassic Coast, England's only natural UNESC a World Heritage Site, Cornwall including Lands End and Scotland, including the Isle of Arran, Mull of Kintyre, and Sound of Mull. For voyages will make various port calls, including Liverpool, Greenock, and Verjordan, Belfast, Newcastle as well as a maiden call for Cunard's fleet to the Welch port of Holyhead. Royal Caribbean extends Singapore season on Quantum of the Seas. Royal Caribbean International has announced that Quantum of the Seas will continue sailing from Singapore through October 2021. The cruise line said in a press release that Quantum's 11-month Singapore season will mark the longest yet for the vessel. We have continued to see an overwhelming demand in Singapore to sail on board the Quantum of the Seas. With more than 50,000 guests having cruised with us and zero positive COVID-19 cases to date, holidaymakers can rest assured we are focused on delivering safe, memorable cruise holidays," said Michael Bailey, president and CEO of Royal Caribbean International. Royal Caribbean's 30-plus sailings in Singapore offer a real-life, validated model of how cruising can be a unique safe vacation beyond what many other travel options can offer. I'm confident we'll continue to see how successful cruising 
can be through a combination of our proven, healthy and safe practices, which are informed by the Healthy Sale Panel 70 for recommendations. In the rollout of vaccines around the world, the quantum will continue to operate with the same set of comprehensive health and safety measures in place, such as COVID-19 testing, reduced sailing capacity, physical distancing measures, enhanced cleaning and sanitizing processes, and industry-leading contact tracing, the cruise line said. Windstar announces $500 million submarine initiative. Windstar Cruises has announced the Starfish, its new and most unique cruise vessel, in a press release issued on April 1st, showing off the company's $500 million submarine initiative. We initially floated a cruise submarine concept a decade ago, examining costs and feasibility, explained Windstar President Chris Perlon. At that time it was a risky contrarian strategy, but we recognized a growing demographic among adventurous travelers who wanted to delve deeper into what all the sea can offer. Our biggest challenge was designing a 180 degrees from ordinary vessel with enough space to scale up to Windstar's discerning standards of yet style ambience and relaxation. The Starfish offers queen-sized beds, granite-topped bathroom counters, and thanks to solid stability beneath the waves, DJ-quality LP turntables with generous album libraries. Varied and eclectic selections include remastered versions of the Beatles' Yellow Submarine soundtrack, Van Halen's Diverdown, and extensive music from promising new artists, including Deep Sea Diver. Curved hull walls with tastefully exposed steel plating create a dreamy and ethereal acoustic ambience abundant in flowing reverb. Similar to our World Spa by Windstar offering destination-inspired treatments, Empress of Atlantis serves up coastal cuisines, freshly shucked oysters, crisp, pan-seared calamari, salty, Barcelona-style grilled octopus tapas, and seafood linguine. We will also feature sushi and sashimi dishes, too. The daily menu changes according to what our chefs can catch swimming outside starfish to ensure optimal freshness. Emerald releases 2023 itineraries on new ship Atsura. Emerald Cruises has unveiled the 2023 program for its new 1.0 guest ocean-going luxury super yacht, the Emerald Atsura. According to a brochure, the yacht's first voyages will be to the Black Sea on to new itineraries, plus a collection of popular Adriatic, Mediterranean and Red Sea cruises. The new 15-day Mykonos, Gallipoli and Essence of the Black Sea itinerary sails from Athens to Istanbul and calls at Mykonos, Anakali, Vardin, Sinop, Trabs in all Turkey, Batumi, Georgia, Sochi, Russia, Odessa, Ukraine, Selina, Romania, Varna and Nesabar, both Bulgaria and Ru. Prices start from $10,994 per person departing August. 5. 2023. With early bird savings of up to $2,132 per couple, the 20 today discover the Greek islands, Turkey, and the Black Sea itinerary is an extension of Mykonos. Gallipoli and essence of the Black Sea with additional ports of call in Patmos, Greece, Kadasi, Bodrum both Turkey, Rhodes and Amargos both Greece, with strong demand for the Emerald at Soros. Inaugural 2020 to season, we are pleased to release 2023 dates so guests can plan ahead. Gallipoli is a huge attraction for the Australian and New Zealand market so we expect these new itineraries to sell quickly, said Emerald Cruises Director for Sales, Marketing and Product, Angus Crichton. The Emerald at Sora is sent to launch in January 2022, becoming Emerald's first custom-built ocean superyacht. MHA announces cruise panel lineup for getting back into service event. The Marine Hotel Association MHA has announced its cruise industry panel for its April 22nd getting back into service conference and trade show, hosted virtually. Royal Caribbean International President and CEO Michael Bailey has already been confirmed as the featured keynote speaker, as well as Dr. Carlos Del Rio and now a number of senior industry executives overseeing key purchasing and hotel operations have been confirmed for the event's panel discussion. The April 22nd will feature a number of speakers, industry panel, meet the industry open forum, and a virtual trade show event. MAHA members can sign up to attend the conference with pricing starting at $250 per delegate or $1,000 for a virtual booth. And with that, we wrap up our cruise news updates for April 2nd. 
If you enjoyed this cruise news update, subscribe to my channel and like to this video would really be appreciated. I shall see you soon. Until then, please take care and stay safe.